hey guys welcome back to a new video today is an unboxing video and we're going to be unboxing this this is the realme watch which was launched a couple of weeks ago so let's take a look and uh, see what's written on here so these it's mentioned all the basic features available on the watch here and taking a look at the whole packaging here it's a very nice packaging i have to admit it looks really nice and feels good to hold so without further ado let's just cut into it and crack this baby open So once the plastic wrapping is off, the packaging seems even nicer to hold on your hand. It has a little matte texture to it. And uh, so th let's just crack this open and take a look at the watch inside. So I'm just gonna gently pull it down like this. And there we go. So there's the watch itself. Uh, hmm, very nice presentation, I must say. So just let's just take out the watch here and have a look. Uh, it's really lightweight so let's just keep it aside and uh, see what's inside the box okay let's uh, open this up here and what is this uh, there's nothing there. that's just a paper clip here what about this thing that's also just some cardboard sheet and then we have the charger here this is a basic uh, you know USB charger for the watch and some paperwork here this, that's just a long sheet of paper it's pretty basic stuff so just keep that back in and take a look at the charger uh, it's just a basic usb charger it's really flimsy it's plastic uh, and i think it's a magnet yes it is a magnetic charger uh, it's not that strong of a magnet but i think it'll work better when it's connected they do have that tendency to do that so let's just keep the charger back in the box and uh, set it aside for now and take a look at the watch itself for now and taking a look at the watch itself it is a very lightweight watch and it feels quite good to hold in your hands even though it feels a bit plasticky so let's just try to boot it up and see if it has any charge in it oh and so it boots up it seems it has a little bit of charge in it so it's asking us to select the language okay and it's asking us to download the realme link application on your smartphone so we'll just set it up later on and uh, first of all let's just take off this plastic covering on top of it and see how it looks uh, and I must say it looks really good for a 4000 rupee watch which is like uh, 50 US dollars so it's pretty cheap and it looks really good for that money and let's just do a quick comparison of a more standard smartwatch here with this is a Moto 360 which costs around uh, 250 dollars or around 15 to 18,000 rupees in India so the watches are very different and so when you hold them together you can see the difference here and also the field that they give is also very different because this is a plastic feel the realme watch feels a really bit plasticky and this uh, moto 360 is a really heavy watch and gives you a premium feel also this realme watch does not have wireless charging in it because as you can see this is a standard qi wireless charger and when you place it on here it's not charging whereas the moto 360 has wireless charging obviously because it's a more, much more expensive watch as you can see it's charging here so let's just take a look at the realme watches charger for a moment and so i'm just going to take it and plug it in here and pop the watch on top of it and see how it charges up so we put it like that and it charges up it's pretty basic it's pretty simple and i must say i really like the magnet here which is which i don't have in the moto 360 
but now I really wish that I had it in here so I really like that about this watch uh, and also this is not really a wireless charger so you there is an alignment issue here so you can't just pop it on like any way you want and uh, expect it to charge here as you can see you have to keep it at a specific position for it to charge because as you can see there are two pins here that has to be aligned with the two pins down here on the watch but it's not that difficult because uh, that's where the magnets come in like just keep it on the ground and if you just pop it like that and it'll you know charge up it's the magnets just pop it on the plates and it charges up I would even say that it's even more convenient than the Moto 360 where there's no magnets or anything to hold it down so yeah so I, I just really like the magnet touch on the realme watch and since that is settled let's just keep all this aside and uh, go ahead and pair this watch uh, watch to a android smartphone and uh, see how it works okay so i have paired this watch to an android smartphone that i had lying around and you get a screen like this when it boots up when you swipe left it shows you a bunch of options here uh, there is a watch face or you know uh, wrist option and then there's the brightness option here and also we do have a battery saver option which when you click on it, it goes to battery saver mode so it says to exit battery saver just click on the button here so I'm just going to exit out the battery saver mode here okay and uh, now when you swipe up you have a whole bunch of options here you even have the camera option that enables you to take photos from your phone uh, so yeah you do have a lot of features in here so, but most of the features here are as you can see health related because it's basically a fitness band or what do you call it and you can also get your notifications from your phones here and you, when you swipe left on it you can see various features you can track your activity uh, you know do all the other basic things that you can do on a fitness or fitness band or fitness watch or whatever so let's just you know see how this works when you put it on your hand so i'm just gonna take off my watch here and i'm gonna put this thing on my hand like that okay so so this strap is really not that simple to put on your hand so i'm just gonna try and yeah okay there we go just push it in and there we have it it's on my hand here we go okay yeah so so it's really light this watch and it it feels really good because you barely even feel it's there and that's really good i like it and uh, so i'm just gonna do a quick heart rate reading here so it says it's reading my heartbeats and uh, then okay now it's showing a status bar so I have no idea what's going on here this thing is just showing me a slow status bar I think it's connecting to the phone or sending information to the phone or something uh, so I'm just gonna take it off and, uh, and just place it on the ground and see what happens after the status bar is completed so I'm just gonna place it down there and let's just do a quick comparison to the Moto 360 again uh, so, so I'm just gonna put it on my arms and clip it on as you can see it's really easy to wear I'm a fan of chain straps like this it's easy to wear so I'm just going to search for heart rate sensor here and it must be here somewhere it was I don't know where it was okay oh right it's on the left side mm, the other one okay there we go there it is so just click on it and it says it's reading my heartbeat oh and just don't mind the broken screen protector you can see here okay it just went to sleep when i flick my hand because it has this raise to wake feature so i'm just gonna try again to get a reading and it went to sleep that was not supposed to happen okay so i don't know why this watch is glitching out i haven't used it in a while so maybe there's a software update or something that i missed 
so anyways this watch is uh, not supposed to uh, it does also have a feature called the race to wake which when you remove your hands it just wakes up automatically i think the real me watch uh, also has this feature but apparently it's just showing me that status bar again uh, i don't know what's going on here it's really slow it's only 91 percent now and i can't do anything else until this thing is complete here nothing works so uh, i guess that actually sums up today's test and uh, let's just wait till this uh, status is complete and see what happens so i'm just gonna place that back on the ground and also keep the model along with it Okay, now we can see that the status here has been completed and now see what happens. Okay, it just shut off on me. It, the watch just turned off. It's, there's nothing on the screen anymore. But I'm pretty sure that it's some minor software bug. So that sums it up, guys. So the review is if you have the money, just buy the more expensive Android watch. And if you just want a fitness band to do your daily needs, then the realme watch is the one for you because for the money that you're paying this thing is an absolute steal so that's it for today's video guys peace out and if you like the video give us a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel